Hi students, uh, today we will see how to execute a C program. So first let us open an uh, Turbo C++ IDE. There you are going to write your C program. So this is an IDE. Uh, so just uh, select a new one. Close the previous one. Sorry just select file new one okay so here I'm starting my program by first you have to write hash include stdio dot h so this is a starting step and again I'm including one more header file include conio dot h so why I'm using these uh, header files dot h means header so these files are linking to the library uh, these are all present in the library files so stdio dot h is a standard input output functions are all present in the stdio dot h like printf scanf like that means all the input uh, read and write commands will be present whereas in conio dot h all the uh, clear screen get car so those functions will be present in conio uh, input output dot h okay and why i'm including these uh, header files is it necessary that we are going to uh, we have to uh, include in our program yes because uh, if you didn't include these files whenever we write printf and scanf the processor cannot understand means at the time of compilation uh, the compiling means it's converting all whatever we are written in English uh, high level language that is going to be converted into machine level language okay after that it's linked to the library uh, first compiling after that linking after that executing okay so link will be done at the time of run run the program so whenever it is uh, linked to the program uh, after conversion so whenever it sees a printf and scanf so already the printf and scanner for predefined in the stdio.h file means the functions related to printf scanf are already stored in stdio.h uh, library function so uh, the processor will goes to that library function a uh, library and uh, get the code and execute the program so those are all the predefined data types it's a predefined functions printf scanner for the predefined functions so they are, they are, uh, those are not the user defined functions so if already stored in the files means those are the predefined now start with main void main now initialize variables int a comma b comma c so i'm initialize i'm making three variables here i'm going to write a program for adding two numbers and the result will be stored in another uh, variable just uh, integer variables i'm taking int a comma b comma c okay so just write clr scr why i'm writing clr clr scr because uh, if you write this whenever you're executing the program the output screen will be cleared okay so whatever the previous output already there and whatever the previous programs that you typed on the screen so that everything will be cleared and your program output will be present on the screen so just write clrs here so that you are uh, you can uh, able to see your exact output clearly on the screen now let's write the print printf so here I'm just entering the values enter a uh, just enter the value a let me write enter the value a so these values be entered from keyboard so this printf is only able to print whatever we are writing here in the within the quotations that will be appeared on the screen so after printf you you want to read the value from keyboard so write scanf scanf percentile d why i am writing percentile d because it is a integer value integer means percentile d if it is a float percentile f if it is a string you have character percentile c like that so scan f percentile d and ampersand a why i am writing ampersand a because ampersand a is a particular memory location in that memory location whatever the value we are entering from the keyboard that value will be stored in percent a location again read another value print f
enter the value B. So now write scan f, scan f percent L D uh, and ampersand B. So in that location value will be stored. That B value will be stored in percent A, uh, ampersand B location. So after that you need to add A and B and the result will be stored in uh, C. So that you have to be. So let me make one mistake so that you will understand uh, the sum of. The sum, uh, the sum is, let me write sum is percentile D. Just you have to print value C, get C H, close the main program. So try to compile the program. So after running, before compiling, you need to save the file. So just save the file by clicking on the file. So just clicking on the file, just uh, save as. So there you need to type uh, a file name. Just add dot C. Now the file is saved with the file name add.c. Now you need to compile the program. So for compiling what will be the options? Shortcut key for the compiling is alt plus f5. So why are compiling? Actually whatever the language that we are written that language should be converted into machine level language so that the processor can understand what we have written on the screen. So that will be converted by using the compiling. So compiling is going to transfer all high level language to machine level language. Okay, here they are showing no errors and the warning. So just end. So actually error was there, but here it is showing no, no errors because it is only converting the uh, all the files into means whatever the uh, language using that into machine level language. So it will be uh, now after compiling, you need to run the program. So running means you, you can enter control F9. The shortcut for run the program is control F9. Okay. So here it is showing one error. Why it is not showing the error in compiling, but it is showing the error in lead the program. So what is the problem? Because, so where, see where the error was. So it is showing the linking error. What is linking error? Undefined symbol print F in module add C. So there is an undefined symbol so just see here so this is here i write written a uh, print f because while linking the program so i already written the stdio dot h so in this stdio dot h library function all the predefined scan of print f uh, already the names are declared uh, and the functions are already stored so whenever i write, write the print f the processor uh, the compiling the after compiling the linking uh, it's just for the link link files already which are present in the library function but whatever the function we have written is not matching to the function already existed so that's why it's showing an error okay so if your print means it's already predefined function if you are given one name to that exactly the name should be like that only okay so uh, even the spelling checks are also not, not accepted if your name is uh, spelled like means written like this means exactly it should be like that only otherwise it is not related to yours if your spelling mistake is in your name, it's not related to yours. So that in the same way, so whatever the function that is there, that should be predefined, that has to be. Right. So now, now again, save the program. Try to save the program. Again, you need to compile the program. First, save the program. Compile the program. Check where there are no errors. So if there are no errors, again, you just... Uh, run the program so the run the program you can directly click on mouse and enter uh, otherwise you go for the control f9 so after control f9 it's showing uh, there are no errors so now enter the value a 
I am entering. Uh, here you can observe the screen here appearing is uh, a cleared screen, the clear output screen you got because you are entered CRSCR function. If you remove that function, uh, already previous matter and where the program is stored, everything will be appeared on the screen. So, it will be confused for you. So, better to write, uh, make a habit that you will write CLRSCR and get CH functions. Enter the value of A and enter the value of B, then you get 22 plus 44, the sum is 66. So, this is how you are going to exit your program. So, after uh, the program, just end go to the file and quit.